So it was very obvious that Morgan's athletic from when she comes in. You know, she tried a little bit of everything when she was a freshman. She kind of had a breakout regional meet her freshman year. And then I, I believe it was 5'10", a new balance. I knew I'd be really good at track freshman year when I jumped the 5'10 and 3 quarters at Nationals. So I realized that that ranks me high in the nation and that I could possibly really excel and do great things with it. We could just tell she was an all-around athlete early on. Hi, my name is Morgan Smalls. I competed here today at the AAU Youth Championships. I competed in the long high and triple where I got two wins in high and triple. And I'm also the fourth best high jumper of all time. My jump in triple actually was not a PR, but it was close. I jumped 41.8, which is, I think, one of my highest jumps for the season. So I was pretty excited about that. High jump was good. I had that very close attempt at the six feet and three quarters, and I just missed it by a little bit. My legs dragged it, which was pretty upsetting, but it was pretty good. Between jumps, what keeps me focused is just kind of keeping my nerves calm, because I'm like, Sometimes I'm a little nervous when I'm out there. But keeping my nerves calm, uh, sometimes I kind of sing a little Spongebob song in my head. <laughs> but that's me, and um, I know it just keeps me calm so that I'm not like getting worked up and then I get to the bar and kind of stop. I'm nowhere near perfect in any of my events, so there's always something to work on. Triple jump, things like my takeoff and my landing. Same with high jump, especially my takeoff, because it's pretty off. <laughs> Keeping focus from November to July takes a lot of time and patience most definitely because my outdoor season was kind of, you know, not as great as my indoor season, but patience is key. She starts in November and she's obviously coming all the way up through July. The key thing is communication. Is it 183 in meters? Now that she's an experienced athlete, giving her some input and feedback into the process. and. And she kind of can tell, you know, what her body needs on certain days and if she's feeling beat down. She'll, she'll let us know and with the older athletes that we've got some experience with, we, we trust them. Jumping to 6'3 and a quarter at indoor was a bit of a surprise to me. I didn't think I'd be able to go and PR a whole three inches indoor. Coming off of like a little off season, it was a big surprise to me. So when she jumped six, three and a quarter indoors, I thought she could do that someday. I thought it might be well after she's into her collegiate career, but it's really exciting for her. Kind of changed her mindset towards the high jump because you know, now she, she knows where she's been. And of course it's going to bring her more pressure that me is putting on them and that they put on themselves. Oh, there's always pressure because you know, anybody can come in and have a great day in PR. So everybody's always competition, so. Being selected for the Pan Am Games was very exciting. I was just kind of chilling at home when I got the call. It's an honor to be able to be selected to go out there and represent the U.S. at the Pan Ams. Looking forward to Pan Ams next week. You know, she, she obviously is excited about that opportunity, and as we all are for her. But I think a meet like this, where, where she is finishing with a, a triple and high jump national championship, is going to give her some confidence going in. I think there are some things that are just my, minor technical corrections that she can think about. And, put herself in the competition. Congratulations, young ladies. Great job.